Go back to Saturday. You had two guys in their first games here, one in the system and one in college in general. Um, what did you like that both guys did? Well, there were a lot of positives with, with both guys and how they played in different aspects. Um, obviously, Chaz showed a great amount of poise for a first college game, first time in that environment. I was uh, very pleased with how he handled himself, the decisions he made on the field, and uh, you know he gave us a chance to to make some plays and gave us a chance to win. Um, I thought I thought he did a really nice job. I was very impressed with him, and and I look forward to to more and more from him in the future as he gets more and more comfortable in that environment. Coach Fedora said, you know, a lot of times you see what guys can do out here, but it's different when they get out on the stage, so to speak. Did you guys have any anticipation of what you'd see from Chaz, or did he kind of do what you thought he would do? You know, I, I Deb wasn't surprised in the slightest. I mean, I, I've got a great deal of confidence in him, and, and you see it day in and day out in practice, and it continues to grow. And I think as he continues to get more and more playing time, he, he's going to grow in his confidence, you know, much like our, our quarterbacks in the past have, and I, I'm excited about the future. In talking to him, as young as he is, he kind of strikes me as being a little more mature than maybe some other guys his age. It, it, do you see that? Is that something that helps him on the field? He's got. He's he's always been a mature kid. You know, even in the the process of getting to know him through recruiting in high school, um, you know, he is very calculated in what he does, and you know, he's a, he's a, he's a great kid. First of all, I mean, you what you see is what you get. You get a great kid on the field. You get a great kid off the field. But he's he's an ultimate competitor. And uh, I think the guys on our team can see that and will continue to rally around him. When you coach kids before in the past, they finally get a chance to see themselves on film in a game, not a scrimmage, but an actual game. Can, can you get a gauge on how much, they're, how much they're benefiting from that film if they're totally getting it? And the second part of that is how much did Chaz get it by watching the film and kind of clicking, okay, I made these mistakes here and they're very correctable? Well, you, you look at it and you always look at it with a critical eye of how can you improve. And you look at every situation, and, and you may do everything right on a play. We're going to look at it, how can we do it even better? How can, how can we make that decision a split second sooner? How can that ball be a little more precise in the location? So we're taking the, the details of it and, and trying to push the envelope as far to perfect as we can, knowing we probably will never get there, but that's what we're striving for. Um, and, and I think he saw some things in that game that, hey, these were good, but they can be even better. And I think that gives him encouragement to, uh, to continue to keep working and continue to keep building off the positives that, that he had from the game, but also look at the negatives and go, okay, I can make this, this, and this even better. It may be the difference in us winning and losing. Sounds good, thank you.